Oh hi, my nose is massive. It's Backlash, do you want the best player on the game? I said, do you want the best player on the game? Ben off Ronaldo, get the money, get all the demonies. So if you guys want the best place to buy your coins on the internet, then go over to u7buy.com, use code VISA at checkout for a cheeky little discount, guys. And yeah, with that said, enjoy the video. One word, trash. Another word, trash. Two words, FIFA 19. Is FIFA 19 as bad as what people make it out to be? Well, let's go through a video here. We are now going for the end of FIFA 20, and people ask me, Liam, what do you think is worse, 19 or 20? Do you know what I did yesterday? I should have been playing foot champs of the last week of the ultimate team of the season. And you know what I did? I played FIFA 17. Yesterday, I played FIFA 17 instead. I genuinely played that instead. I still lost, but I like to think it was a success. Today's video, I'm going to be speaking about FIFA 19 with a bit of context of what's happened the last few weeks and months with 20. And let's compare it, shall we? Was 19 as bad as what people make it out to be? In a short story, yeah, it was pretty messed up. Let's break it down here. I've got three sections. I've got gameplay, I've got content, and I've got... I don't know, really. Let's talk about gameplay. Gameplay with 19 was quite hit and miss. Because with 19, it was a faster game. However, there were so many glitches and bugs here and there that you could not get past the fact that you could not play a single game of Weekend League or, or Division Rivals without having your ass literally being beat by the game mechanics every single game. And it hurts after a while. This is your ass. Just being, just being handed to it. Imagine going on a lovely date with you and a girl. You're going down to, I don't know, Wagamama's, right? Go to Wagamama's. Now imagine that she orders a katsu curry and you say, you know what? I also want a katsu curry. Now imagine that she receives her katsu curry about five minutes after you ordered. You're like, okay, cool. Now, now it's time for your katsu curry. And you wait half an hour to actually receive it. That is FIFA 19. And that made no sense whatsoever. But I thought it sounded cool. What I'm trying to say here, right, is that with 19, it was a game which had potential of being a cool game. The dribbling was quite nice and responsive. The passing was actually not that bad. Pace actually meant something. If you, let's say, take advantage of your opponent's poor defending and you do a free ball and you throw on goal, odds are you will go through on goal and it will not catch up to you. Unlike... I don't even, don't even want to think about it. But there was 10 things, which I will go into right now, gameplay-wise, which was a complete and not a joke at some stage of the game. If you are in a nervous disposition, put on your undies. I'll double lay your undies, because it's going to be a bit... You'll see. Alexa, play Pot Donk on it. Kickoff boost. Never in any FIFA have I ever seen kickoff boost so prevalent in my life. If you don't know what I mean, then I'll explain it. When you score a goal and your opponent then kicks off, what happens to your team is that your defense just, just tracks back so deep that it makes a massive gap in your midfield. There's sometimes cases where your back four is literally on the same level as your as your goalkeeper. They are going back that deep. Number two, finesse shots, or specifically first and finesse shots. For some reason, if you try and score from outside the box and you are on a 45 degree angle, if you aim it this way, it gives you a perfect opportunity just to hit B and the finesses and curves into back of net perfectly every single time. I am not kidding here. Green time volleys. There is a certain pass mechanic where you can pass a ball where she kind of just dips in the air a bit and you have an opponent with let's say a Eusebio. I remember playing runners and literally he's got four goals of doing the same thing each time and it was absolutely boring. Do a little dinky ball and when it's in the air it's a perfect height for your opponent just to hit it on the volley first time, green time, and it goes top bins each time. Curves perfectly every single time. Number four, the servers were also poor. There's sometimes you cannot play the game because the gameplay literally changes. If you play the game around 6 p.m. but online UK time, that means the more people on the servers, therefore the more players stressing the actual servers, which means that guess what? Your gameplay will now be worse. And by the way, that still happens in 20. <sighs> I don't want to say this, but la. Croquettas. Or, as Kurt says, La Cocodal. Honestly, this gets free in itself. Like, this takes up three slots of my top ten things wrong. Because this game would be actually an okay game in itself. A few glitches here and there. But this, this one skill move broke 
everything. You could have a guy with no idea about how to score in this game, and if he just does a Kiketa, a Kiketa, like a Kiketa, he's past most of your players, thought they could just pass the ball instantly, and also shoot instantly, and then through your goal. I played a game of 19 literally like a month ago, and I literally wanted to hurt myself. All I had to do was do two like Kiketas, and I'm past five of their players. Honestly, I don't even want to think about how stupid this skill move even was. Like a Kiketa, more like, like a Kiketa myself, off a bridge. Thank you very much. El Tornado. I don't even know what to say to this one, boys. You can, you can have your opponent run down the wing and do a El Tornado, volley, cross, or even a volley shot in back of the net, and it's almost perfect every single time. This guy's doing the most mental flick shit, and he's able to perfectly connect with it and cross the ball perfectly each time. Number 10, and this would be the green time headers. In like a Keta, like a Keta, they then go do an El Tornado cross inside the box to do a green time header with his Latin Ibrahimovic. And my friends, you have just been FIFA 19. And there are many more things also with this game. Now, when people think of 19, they think, oh wow, I can SBCs. Well, I love 19. Yeah, um, EA messed up a lot of times this year, a lot of times. Actually, to be more specific, uh, let me just get my classes here. So, so I, I don't get any, any uh, numbers wrong here. Um, there was, in 19, 130 mistakes. Yeah, um, just in content. Just from releasing Timmy Weeks or brand new promos. Things that got wrong, stats being wrong. And I've got an entire video right here of me going through every single thing. I'm just gonna play my old video. I'm gonna show like 30 mistakes here and you'll get the point. Dynamic images not showing up on special cards is a regular occurrence. SBCs requiring all goal players when you put in all goal players sometimes says that there's no goal players. For whatever reason, this is a thing. Items regularly showing up like this. Team name underscore ABBA 15 underscore. I, I don't even know how this even happens but it happens quite often. For the screen promotion, in the promo packs, it showed up a photo of FIFA 18 and not FIFA 19. They literally just repeated the same pack from last year and put it in the new game. At the start of FIFA, daily rewards were given out on the web app. However, EA took this away because they thought the rewards were too good and then gave us worse ones in return. EA tweeted out that there was a screen cocaine available in SBCs when in fact it actually wasn't and they had to correct it afterwards. The UCL team of the group says cards is actually a special card, but if you try and put on a special filter on them for transfer market, they do not show up and they only count as a gold even when they are a special card. EA releasing the road to the final UCL cards, however, in the first loading screen, forget to put in Renato Sanchez, which is also a road to the final card. There was a mocking matchup of Czech Republic versus Slovakia, when in FIFA 19, it was Czech Republic versus Slovenia. Basically, EA got Slovakia and Slovenia confused. Prime icon sets got dropped, but EA made the requirements way too cheap, therefore, it was very easy to repeat it and make profit, therefore, EA deleted it and made it much more harder to do within the first hour or two. Now, I don't even know where to start with this one. So basically, EA did a Jaden Sancho SBC, however, it was advertised as a right mid card, but in the game, it was actually left mid. And also, there was a brick slot for Jaden Sancho, which is English, but the actual slot itself was German. They messed up so many times with this. I hope whoever made this SBC is no longer in a job, because this is way too stupid. Division Rivals Awards for Division 2 was in fact worse than Division 5's Rank 2's rewards as well, because that's just how EA rolls. The Champions League World Final Cards was all updated, however, they completely forgot to change Renato Sanchez's card as well. Despite him being 84 in game. God damn it, they do not like Vanessa Sanchez. EA tweeting out new Europa League cards, but forgetting Condobia Mateu, so they had to do another tweet afterwards. This one's really weird. Basically, for foot champs rewards, for some reason this went unexplained, but people receive like seven coins instead of like the typical 50,000 or 70 odd thousand or whatever. Some people just got a different random amount of coins, and there was no reason for why this even happened in the first place. There was a brand new Inform Ericsson, however, EA got the stats wrong and had to change it afterwards. The Ultra SBC requires a left mid and a right mid, even though there's no left mids or left wingers or right wingers or basically no wide players play for ultra right, even though you need them for the SBC, making the SBC so much more expensive than it should be. The future stars Tom Bele SBC saying that you need French players, even though the French SBC actually has a Dutch flag next to it. The card of him from Summer says it's got 88 reflexes, however in game it says he's got 87 instead. Are you being serious? Now, I know you're thinking right, Liam. But 20 isn't better either. If I got to compare 19 gameplay and 20 gameplay, it's like comparing a massive, massive pile of absolute horse with piss over it and also a few dead corpses in there as well and comparing uh, Casey Hopkins. Like, it, they're both the same level of just atro atrocity. But I think Casey Hopkins is a bit better in a sort of weird sense because even though that she's probably the worst thing on the planet, I kind of don't also want dead corpses and, you know, pissy.
on this side. You know what I mean? Tell me your thoughts down below in the comments if you want to as well with me. But, um, yeah. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Um, make sure to be followed to my Twitch. I stream on Twitch every single day. And um, it's kicking off there recently. So I'll say join along because I'm basically a full-time Twitch streamer now. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Vizel. See you next time. <laughs>